this is the FMA IA58 Bukara. And it's a little bit unfinished. At the moment, the aircraft costs 8,020 Golden Eagles, sitting at a battle rating of 6.3. And we can see the stat card here. At the moment, it looks like it will be a premium aircraft, but I think on release, it will be a tech tree vehicle, as that's what the moderators have said on the forums. The stat card indicates it's going to be placed in the German tech tree, and of course, the aircraft originates from Argentina. And if we take it into a test flight here, we can see some of the flight performance. Now, you aren't really supposed to be able to play the plane just yet, but we've talked previously about how you can use the wiki to preview any vehicle in War Thunder in the hangar, and that even includes hidden vehicles like the Xbox and PlayStation exclusive vehicles. It's really interesting seeing an aircraft in this state, as this is clearly not supposed to be available for the public to see just yet. The aircraft is going to be the first rank 5 propeller driven aircraft in the game. And no, I'm not counting those propellers on the ME163 as propellers. By being a proper hacker man and going into the HTML code, you can confuse the game into showing you the Pukara. Now, I don't want to tell you the exact details of how you do this, because sometimes I say things in these videos and the Gaijin quietly fixes them in the background. There was a car on Cevex 13 that was floating for months since the release of the map, and I mentioned it in a video, and it's quietly fixed a few days later. Literally unplayable. I'm genuinely fascinated by what behaviour makes the centre of the fuselage hollow. Is that just the case of the flight model being not present, or is that just because of how the skin hasn't been created just yet. The aircraft comes equipped with two 404 20mm Hispano cannons, as well as four 762 Browning machine guns. I mean, it's almost a camouflage. It's not terrible. It's just, a, it's just a little rough around the edges. The aircraft accelerates really, really well. I think at this stage, the only thing it's missing is a camouflage and a cockpit, and the landing gear are correctly animating. I don't know if both pilots will be able to control the plane, like the F-82, where one pilot can get knocked out and the other pilot can take over, avoiding being able to be pilot sniped quite so easily. But the default animation here looks like they're both holding a control stick, so I imagine they'd be able to take control of the aircraft. Now, I want to figure out what the rip speed of the aircraft is without having to do much effort. Do you reckon it can go 4,000 kilometers an hour? The answer is no. So if you're paying attention there, the limit is 835 kilometers an hour, which is incredibly fast. Although, of course, it seems that we were cruising around 500. The smoke seems to be working pretty well. Can we go quite high up? Yo, we're in orbit. The aircraft is obviously not designed to maintain an altitude of 25,000 meters. There's the airfield down there. No idea when it will be released, but it seems very close to being finished. It will certainly be nice to have some air units to go along with the Argentine ground forces we already have in the game. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to click here to watch a video all about the War Thunder features you didn't even know existed.